Now, I also mentioned on, for back-end support, we wanted to add new capabilities to support the pure 64-bit configuration that we're seeing more common in the data center. In this case, I have a 64-bit application, and its traditional setup uh, is designed to be kind of hybrid. It has some 32-bit code, some 64-bit code. The first thing I need to do is make sure that my MSI is set to be a 64-bit MSI. And that's in the template summary. And then down under the release options, product configuration. When it comes to the architecture, I want to tell it to be strict. No longer can it float between 32 and 64. This is strictly a 64-bit application. So now when it builds, it's going to validate that everything in this application is 64-bit. It's going to test. And it's going to build an MSI where all the custom actions uh, that are included by Install Shield have been upgraded to 64-bit custom actions. So we now have an application that can deploy in that pure 64-bit data center where there is no WOW 64 subsystem uh, for backwards compatible support. And in this case, it found some, some files, some DLLs and EXEs that were 32-bit, and it warned me accordingly.